This is MJ. He is an 83-year-old male with post-polio syndrome. In addition, he is hypertensive and asthmatic, secondary to seasonal allergies. He lived with his wife until about six months ago when he began experiencing pain and debilitating weakness in his upper and lower right extremity, and as a result can no longer ambulate with a walker and is now wheelchair-bound, living in an assisted living facility. He fatigues extremely quickly due to motor neuron weakness and has an upper right extremity and lower right extremity manual muscle test score of 2 out of 5. His folds include regaining strength on his right side so that he can return to carrying out independent ADLs, live at home with his wife, play chess in Central Park, and sing at Coogan's on karaoke nights. In month one, the therapist focused on PNF in order to facilitate strength and range of motion and functional movement patterns. Here we see a posterior elevation anterior depression pattern with D2 flexion and extension. Assistance is being given because MJ has an MMT score of 2 out of 5 on the right side. However, MJ is asked to contribute to the motion as tolerated. The therapist is also carrying out the motion on the unaffected left side to facilitate neuromuscular re-education and regain muscular strength on the affected right side. This is a good preliminary exercise because it occurs in multiple planes and can help MJ carry out a variety of ADLs. Month two, the non-fatiguing exercise program has allowed MJ to regain enough strength in his right side to progress to aquatic therapy. This therapeutic intervention is utilized to reduce pain and decrease the amount of weight MJ has to bear in standing. Simply by standing in water, the muscles must contract to maintain an upright standing position. Previously, he was able to put weight on his left side, but now is working on weight bearing on the right side by shifting his center of mass over both legs equally. In month three, MJ has now reached a 3 out of 5 MMT for his right side, upper, and lower extremities. This allows him to utilize his upper extremities in pushing up to standing, as well as lowering his lower extremities to briefly support his body weight. Sit to stand exercises are done so that MJ can return home to living with his wife who can assist with transfers and ADLs. Here the patient is educating MJ's wife on how to safely assist MJ in transferring from a seated position to a standing position in order to safely carry out transfers such as wheelchair to bed.